Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Alan Wade back again with another video, A Dub Productions. And the reason why I'm smiling is because it's a great day to be alive. So much opportunity, so many things going on in the world, so much beautiful things. But anyway, the reason why we're here today, oh yeah, before we get started, I'm sorry, bipolar. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Give this video a thumbs up already before we get started. It helps the channel out a lot. But today we're going to do some, um, make some t-shirts with our Silhouette Cameo 3, our heat press, and you're gonna need some Jet Pro Soft Stretch Transfer Paper. All the links to everything that I'm talking about in this video down below. It's a fun activity. Moms, dads, you can do this with your kids. It's gonna be great. Um, you can do this for, the holidays are coming up, so you can do this for Thanksgiving, you can do this for Christmas, you can do this for Halloween, not in that order. And also, if you don't have a Cameo 3 or a heat press, you might as well just go down the link below, click the link now, and just buy them right now because it can save you a whole lot of money on clothes when it comes to your children, uh, decorating garments. You can be the most popular parent in the world, like you can grab, I'm gonna show you, after you get finished this tutorial, you're gonna realize the power that you can do, uh, that you can have with just owning these few pieces of equipment and how much money you can save over the years. Your kid wants a Fortnite shirt, make him a Fortnite shirt. Your kid wants a, uh, a Dragon Ball Z shirt, make him a Dragon Ball Z shirt and they can wear it to school. Your kid wants a, your, the school logo on the shirt, on a shirt, get the school logo. You wanna sell the school logo on the shirt for, to the other kids at school, do it. You can make your money back really, really fast, really, really easy, and save lots of money over the years. I've had this particular thing right here. Look, this is that. You know something's old when it starts rattling, right? Might have to get a new one soon. But anyway, um, I've had this for years, and it's still working. This is an old, cheap heat press that I got off of eBay. Um, I suggest using my link on Amazon to buy your heat press though. Cameo link down below. But let's get into it guys. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna go on our computer right here. All right, now that we are in our computer space through the magic power of editing, video editing, we're gonna launch Chrome. We're gonna go to Google. Mine is navigating to, to Bing for some reason. And I didn't even do that. Maybe it's a virus or something. I don't know. You guys can comment in the comment section. We're gonna click on images right here. So Google Images, we're gonna go to. You can get basically anything from Google Images, guys. You wanna put in PNG for anything that you're searching for. So right now, I'm going to type in Goku PNG, all right? Goku PNG, and this one looks good. So we're gonna grab this file right here, and we're gonna double click on it, and we're gonna go Save Image As. And when you go Save Image As, guys, you wanna make sure that the PNG is transparent and it has PNG at the back of it, when you go to save it, it says the format is gonna be PNG. So I'm gonna save Goku, go. I'm gonna delete all of this and just name him Goku. Goku, all right, and save that, replace it. All right, now we're gonna do something else. Um, we're gonna go back up to the top and we're gonna put um, Ninja Turtles, Ninja, Turtles. Just as an example of oh, PNG. Just an example of uh, stuff that you can do, guys um, and girls. Look at this. This is sick right here. Ninja Turtles PNG. Wow. Look at that. Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello. All right, we're going to use that one. Um, maybe we can find a more crisp one, more big one. What Also, what you can do in Google Images is you can go over here to the tools size and you can go you can click large size and it'll give you a larger size uh, files to choose from these look um what about this one is that a png yeah that's a png so we're going to click on this and we're going to double click and we're going to save image as once again making sure it's a png and we're going to type ninja turtles all right and save that to the desktop. And now what we're going to do, now that it's saved at the bottom, we've confirmed we got both saved. Boom, close that out, close this out. We have Goku right here and we have our Ninja Turtles right here on the desktop. We're gonna go ahead and launch our Silhouette. Oh, wrong thing. We're gonna go ahead and launch our Silhouette Studio software right here, guys. And aren't we having fun already? Isn't this real easy to do? 
Um, if you have any questions about anything that I'm doing right now, comment in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to straighten things out with you guys because I want to make this a fun family activity, a fun family activity that you can do with your kids. All right. So now that we are in our Silhouette Studio software, guys, I want to tell you, we are doing this thing on a fly. I haven't done this before. Uh, well, I have, I've done this one. I've done another tutorial on it once before, but uh, I just want to show you guys that we're doing this on a fly. We're going to um, go ahead and grab our images. We're going to go to, uh, what are we going to open? And we're going to navigate to our desktop where we have our images served, saved. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do Ninja Turtle 1, import the Ninja Turtle 1, and Right here, we have our Ninja Turtle PNG. Looks dope, right? We gotta size it down, guys. So how do we size this thing down? We gotta get the images and size it down, guys. Uh, da -da -da. Grab that right there. The arrow right there. See the pointer? We were on here, but we gotta grab this. And we gotta grab the edges, and we gotta size this down because it has to, the image has to fit on the cutting mat, on the 12 by 12 cutting mat. Okay, so Make sure we got everything in there nice and perfect. I'm gonna make it as big as possible so we can utilize all of our real estate in here. And now, boom, click off of it. Now we're going to, what are we gonna do now, guys? We're gonna go and hit the page, this page button right here. Just follow my steps, guys. This is not hard at all, I, I swear to God. Um, so just hit the page panel right there. And now, because of what we're doing, we have to change the settings. Keep the size um, right here on Cameo to um, automatic Cameo. We're using a 12 by 12 cutting mat and Cameo cutting mat 12 by 12. Make sure that's uh, checked. And then right here, this is where key right here, registration marks. When we're doing scan and cut on a Silhouette Cameo 3, you have to put registration marks on your page, okay? So hit registration marks. See style, it's off. You gotta turn the registration marks on. All right, now we have our registration marks and they are on. Now, notice, see the edges right here? Um, how, how my image is sized? Right here is what you want to pay attention to, the lines around right here. You want to keep your whole image inside of this border right here. So we're going to have to go ahead and we're going to have to resize our image, make it come down a little smaller and put the image inside of the box so we yet we're left with yet a smaller even smaller space silhouette cameo like if you guys can see this video please make it so that we can have bigger um images somehow i guess we'd have to have a bigger machine but whatever okay so now we have everything um this actually is not a good uh picture to um cut out because it's going to be very, very difficult for the cameo to cut this out, guys. So um, let me do the Goku. Okay, the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you guys why, why I'm, I'm doing this. So delete that. I just press delete. I'm going to go and I'm going to open up another one, another image. You're going to grab Goku. The reason why I said it's hard to do, um, let me just boom, command C to copy uh, over here. Command V, that's not working. Okay, let's just close this out. Okay, so the reason why I said, um, I'll just select Goku guys, because if you notice, this is just one image and it's just doing one cut. The Ninja Turtle one had, even though it was a nice looking picture, it had debris all on the sides and stuff like that. And that's gonna be kind of hard for the cameo to cut. And you'll see what I'm talking about. So let me turn back on the registration marks. All right, and once again, I gotta get the image inside of the lines so that the uh, cameo can see it. All right, let me explain to you how this works, guys. These are registration marks. This right here, this right here, and this right here. All right, this box right here, this dark line right here, and this dark line here, right here. These are called registration marks. The machine, the Cameo 3 machine, sees these marks right here, all right, in the side. The machine, the Cameo 3, sees those marks, and that's how the Cameo is able to cut along the edges of this image, all right? That's how registration marks work, all right? So now what you're gonna do is, you have your image, right? 
we have registration marks on, right? Let me just test something out real fast while I got you guys here. Just in case, say if I was using a 12 by 24 cutting mat, I just wanna see if the registration marks can get bigger and no, they can't. Okay, all right, so let me switch that back to 12 by 12. All right, so okay, so now I got my registration marks, 12 by 12, everything is set. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and print this out, all right? So you wanna print this image out on your printer. I have my printer set up in the other room, so we're going to go ahead and go over there and load up some paper, guys. So we are over here at our Epson Workforce 7720, guys, and this is a Jet Pro soft stretch paper that I'm talking about. Links down below. Now, we're gonna test out this theory. I'm gonna print this out. I'm gonna use this paper on white material. So what I recommend you guys do, and we'll see by the end of this video if it works or not, because I haven't tried it out yet, is you can buy Jet Pro soft stretch paper, um, transfer paper, uh, for white colors, for light fabrics, or dark fabrics. I'm going to use the paper that's for dark fabrics, but print it, but press it onto a white shirt, and we're gonna see if that works, which in essence would mean just buy Jet Pro Soft Stretch for dark fabrics and use that dark fabric paper for dark or, or lighter fabrics, all right? So you won't have to buy one for light fabrics and one for dark fabrics. All right, so I'm gonna load some of these, a few sheets of these papers papers in my um, printer. And let me show you what guys, one reason why I love this printer right here. All right, so right now I have just regular printing paper in here. I'm gonna take this printing paper out, set it to the side, and I'm gonna put in some Jet Pro soft stretch paper. But as you guys can see, it can't fit, right? But with this printer right here, boom, it's like a convertible. Like I push this, pull this right here and look, that just got bigger. How dope is that, right? So it says that the paper side, this side is gonna be down. All right. By the illustration on there, boom. It's like a convertible. Like, look at that. It's like a convertible. This is dope. And now that has converted to a, uh, to a printer that can fit my type of paper, my size paper that I have. And that was mad simple, right? So it just, Put that back in there. Hold on one second. It got all scrumfly. Don't want it to get scrumfly. All right, there you go. It's not gonna get scrumfly now. Boom, whatever scrumfly is. All right, so that is loaded up, guys. That's loaded up. And um, now it's time to go print our um, material. All right, let's go. A-Dub Productions. All right, guys, before we get started um, sending this thing to the printer, I wanna show you guys something that I discovered. Remember a little while ago, I just said that I wish Cameo would make a way that you can print larger files? Well, they do. All right, let's get back into software. In the software right here, okay, you got your thing selected. First of all, you don't need to have a cutting mat because that's not what we're gonna do, so um, you can select 12, 24, but I'm gonna put none because we're printing something. We don't need a cutting mat. So I'm gonna press none. And right here under our settings, there is a setting for, let me see real fast. I just did this. Okay, leave this right here. I'm gonna select, we're cutting, our paper width is 11 by 17, guys. 11 by 17, and look what that did. That adjusted where our uh, registration marks were, so now we can make our image bigger. What the heck just happened? 11 by 17, boom. That just made our image bigger, I mean our, our area bigger. So now we can make our image bigger, making sure still we keep it inside of the area where um, it needs to be, boom. Boom. Something that I discovered real fast before we send this thing to print uh, while playing with this file. Okay, so you guys see our file right here. And if you look right here where it says show print border, when I toggle that on and off, you see the print area. And I'm assuming that that area means that that's the only place where we can print at. You know what I mean? Like that's the largest area that it will allow the machine to print out. So in essence, our pictures have to be this small, which kind of sucks, but you know, 
we can only do what we can do, right? Given given what we've been given. All right, so toggle that on and off to uh, make sure everything's in size inside of that little area right here, and everything is inside the area. Okay, so now I go over to my um, my uh, registration marks right here, and I'm going to adjust my registration marks. Go down here to Advanced Options, Bottom Inset, and I'm going to pull that up so that the registration marks come up. And over to the left one, is that my left or my right? That's my right. And I'm going to pull that registration mark in also. And then we're going to, now that we're, now we're going to send this to print. Uh, this is kind of small. It's kind of upsetting, to be honest with you, but it is what it is. So let's send this to print. Put it on the best setting, print, and we should be good. We should be good. All right, you can see my ink is low right now, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and send it over and see how it comes out. And when we send it to print, guys, after this thing loads up, you'll see right here a file pop up, and that's exactly that's your serves as your print preview right there. So you know it's going to print out the whole thing. Before I was having problems printing out. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I always keep it real. I tested this out. I always do stuff one one time on here, but I tested this out a few times and I was having difficulties. See, this one right here didn't print out the correct way. I did it a second time, didn't print out the correct way. Then I finally got it to print out landscape and I thought it was gonna take up the whole paper, but it didn't. As you guys can see, it cut off the hand right here. Printers can be a little bit complicated. Um, in the comment section down below, agree, like if you agree, but this setting right here, it shows the actual whole image. So that means the whole image is gonna print out. Looking good so far. Paper size settings and cassette does not match the specified. Done. Boom. Print. It always gives you a weird message. The paper size does not match, but it does match. So let's see how good this prints out. You're gonna notice a printer shake because the table is not very sturdy, guys. Just bear with me. Let's see how good of a print we get. And the key thing is you wanna make sure your registration marks are on the page. Once our registration marks are on, then you know that the Cameo 3 is going to be able to print everything out, guys. Look at this. Looking good so far. Got the top two registration marks on there, as you guys can see. And just gonna cross our fingers, hope the bottom registration marks print out, and we're good to go. All right, so guys, you see our image looks really, really good. Got our top registration marks, but our bottom registration mark, the edge right there didn't print out. I'm gonna print one more out, guys. You see the bottom one, the L right there did not print out. So I'm gonna print one more of these guys and we're gonna see if we can get the bottom part to print out one thing about printers guys you have to understand the way they work and you have to get the settings right with your uh, computer and the printer in order for it to print correctly and that can be a real challenge but noticing once again we got a great print I'm gonna zoom out a little bit zoom in zoom out and you see this time I got both marks right there I got that L that I wanted Got the one up here, got the one up here. So now the Cameo can read all of this. Now guys, let's just take a moment to notice how clean of a job the Epsom workforce did printing out this file. I mean, look at the detail in this guy. I'm trying to focus as I go along. Look at the detail in this. Look at the detail. Did a great job printing this thing out. Turn on our Cameo right here. Boop, 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 boop. Press the button. And I think I'm going to use a cutting mat, guys, because when this thing prints out, when this thing prints out, it's uh, going to separate from the page because that's what we're doing. We're cutting it. So I'm going to use a cutting mat. So let me lay this out on the cutting mat. So I'm over top with it. And what I'm doing is I'm matching the edges up because you want it exactly on the line. So this edge on the line and I'm matching the other edges right here. And when I, get them, when I get them all matched up, I'm just gonna lay this paper down on it. Boom. I'm trying to get right on the edge. It's hard for me to do this and film at the same time. Normally I'd have had it down by now. 
but I'm trying to get you guys a good shot here. I'm trying to get you guys a good shot here. Give me a second. Let me come from over the top. Boom. 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 Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Got to lay down on the mat like, whoa. Now we lay it down on the cameo. Line up the lines on the side like we normally do with the cutting mat. Then we press load. Back into the cameo. And as you guys notice, I'm not doing, using my screen capture right now, but I just want to show you guys that I'm turning on my cutting mat. I'm going to use my 12 by 24 inch cutting mat because uh, this is a big picture. I can't use my 12 by 12 because the picture is longer than 12. Let me see if I put my 12 by 12 on. Uh, it'll make it, but hmm, I'm going to use a 12 by 24. I hope it still has some stickiness left to it. So we'll see in a moment, guys. And I'm going to go ahead and press send. And uh, I'm going to change my material. I'm going to change the pa uh, it's, it's paper that I'm using. But let me see if I have a selected setting in here. Hmm, what material am I going to use? We have cardstock, pl cardstock plain, chipboard, copy paper medium. I'm going to use copy paper medium, guys, to do this. All right, so that should be sufficient for cutting this out. There's still one more step we have to do before we send this thing to the printer. So let's do that step right now. We have to go over here in the software, and we have to press this button right here, which creates an offset. We're going to select a trace area, and this right here is going to tell the Cameo what to cut, guys. This step is very, very crucial. So right here, we're going to go and trace outer edge. We're going to select that, um, select outline, and we're going to adjust settings, trace outer edge. All right, so if we look over here, we got nothing. Command Z, sorry about that, select trace area. Boom. All right. And outline. Trace outer edge. See? We got our uh, outer edge. And that's going to tell the cameo what to cut. Command Z to move it back. That's going to tell the cameo exactly what to cut. Now we can go ahead and send it over to the cameo. Send. We got our paper stock selected. These are all our settings. Um, to. 10, 15, one pass, and we're ready to send it over. And you see we have our outline right out outside of our image. So the Cameo knows exactly what to cut and where to cut. It's got the registration marks on there. So the Cameo knows where this is related to the, um, it, it, it's difficult to, uh, to explain guys, but we'll do plenty more cut, um, tutorials so to get you guys to understand how this works better just know that the cameo needs to have something to cut and the registration marks is what you print out on the printer because that's what the cameo reads and it tells it where the uh, image is compared to it's difficult to explain like I said just just do it the way I did it and like I know in my last video I did it differently but check it out follow along and do it and tell me how it works and we'll do more we are over top of the image now. I'm just gonna press send on my Cameo. I mean on the software. Now the Cameo is trying to find a registration mark. You see it found one. Found the other one, right? Now it's trying to find a third registration mark. Oh, it missed that one. Our picture uh, moved. Our picture moved. See what happened right here? This is not, this, this other part is not locked down. All right, that, that'll happen, guys. So let me adjust this. Let me fix it real fast. And I'm going to go unload on the cameo. That can happen. See? See how that happened? Even a dub makes mistakes. Boom. I don't know what happened there, guys, but that was a bust. Okay, I know exactly what happened. Our wheel came out of place here. So we got to adjust this wheel on the side. This thing isn't perfect all the time, guys. And that's why I like to show you stuff like this. I gotta unlock this wheel. 
bring this up first of all, unlock this wheel, slide it over, lock it back, and now we're locked into place. All right. I don't even want it locked right there. I want it locked on the other side. So let me put it in that groove right there, lock it in place, lock it in place. Cool, I heard it snap. Put this back down. Now we should be good. All right, press load. Now we should be good. Like when stuff like that happens, cause you guys know, you guys know when I do it, it's perfect. But when you guys do it, you're like, what the heck happened? All right, so let's do it again. Let's do it again. Send it over. All right, once again, Cameo looking for a registration mark. Found one. Found another one. All right. Look, found that one on the side. Now let's see it cut. Getting ready to cut. Sharpening up the blade, getting ready to the right distance. Let's see what it does. See if it butchers this thing. It's going fast. Cutting that image right out. Back up. Look at that. Going right along the edge of that image. Perfectly. Hopefully it's perfect. We'll see. We gonna see. Uh, you guys can do ghosts, you guys can do dragons, you guys can do whatever you want. You can cut out and it should come out just like this. As long as you do the registration marks and everything, do exactly how I told you to. You can do offset like in my last video and you know, all right, so it's done. I'm not even gonna cut. I'm gonna um, go straight to it and unload, job complete, unload. Let's see how this came out. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. Okay. Let's see. I feel the cut. And here it is right here. See it? It's right there. But this was supposed to separate from the paper and it didn't. And I'm disappointed with that. It didn't cut through the whole paper. But you can you guys can see the, the like the line right here. You guys can see the line that it created. It actually it did. It's like a perforated perforation. So let me see something, guys. Let me see something. This just messed me all up. I didn't cut deep enough. I didn't pick the right, the deeper settings. Move this to the side. Move my cup to the side right here. <sighs> Boy, always some technicalities, guys. So what I'm trying to see is if I could just separate it, but it didn't cut all the way through, which is not a good thing. Should have cut all the way through. So, the question is, how good can the Cameo 3 read the registration mark? Because I'm going to put it back on, and I'm going to do another cut. This is the true test of whether the Cameo 3 can really read registration marks good. Because if it can, it's going to go right back over the same lines. So, let's see how good this feature works, guys. This is the test right here. Let's see if it's on point to the millimeter. All right, load the design back up. Load it back up. Put it back in. Very, very interesting. Back in. And we're gonna cut again, but we're gonna adjust the uh, depth. I adjust the blade a little bit and we're going to go ahead and cut it again. 
send. All right. Found one. Found the other one. Oh, found the other one. It should cut on the same straight, same lines. All right? If it reads the registration marks and if it's true to it, it should cut right back on the same lines. Let's see how good it does this. How good of a machine is a Cameo 3? About to find out. I don't know guys, looks like it's on point. Looks like it might be on point. About to find out. Didn't cut through the first time, took the paper off the whole mat. And you know what happens when you take the paper off the mat. It's like impossible to line that back up, but put it back on the mat and it looks like it's going across the same lines. It's going very fastly, <laughs> going very fast. Sorry to make this video so long, guys. Next one I'll make, I'll, I'll probably I'll make it shorter, but I ran into some a few issues because I didn't prepare for this. I'm gonna prepare for the next one, uh, my apologies. But uh, yeah. You can see what happens when you print with registration marks. Cameo is on point. Product links in the description down below. Should be through both papers now. Let us see. Zoom out. Zoom out. It still says working. Working, working, working. Unload. All right. Let's see what we got. Yep, look at that. Look at that. Whoa, camera fell. Let's get a higher look again. I didn't tighten it back up. That could have been disastrous. Dub Nation, this is exactly what we wanted. And look at this. The dope part about this is, oh my gosh, this is crazy. The dope part about this is the fact that this is incredible. I ain't gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this is incredible. I'm gonna get my scraper tool right here so I can get this up. I got a phone call. We're gonna call him back. Um, scraper tool right here comes in handy, guys. And we're just gonna go ahead and get our Goku up. All right. Right here. Get it up. All right. Look at this. Dope print. Went over this twice, guys. That's pretty darn good. This is a hair piece right here. I'm going to go ahead and take this off because... That's not gonna come out right. This is another hair piece right here. But look at this, sick. Sick, guys. Goku, thumbnail. Guys, now that our press is heating up, there's one more step because this is dark transfer paper. We have to separate the image from the actual transfer paper. This is the uh, difference between Dark transfer paper versus light transfer paper. You're gonna see, you have to do this very, very carefully because you're gonna be left with something that's very, very thin and fragile and you can jack this all up if you don't do it right. Now you guys see what's happening right here? This image is separating from the actual paper and what you're left with is something that's really, really thin. So you have to be careful when you're rolling this out, careful when you're removing this, that you don't rip the actual image, okay? But even if you did rip the image, I mean, it would still be okay for transferring, but you get your scraper tool or your flat tool, and you can just use that as an aid to help you do it carefully, carefully, guys carefully separating the two all right carefully so it's like it's like a sticker it's like you're peeling off a sticker 
All right. So you see this? This is what you're going to be left with when you're doing this. Now, I go back around this area and do the same thing for the hands, separating it carefully so you don't rip it. All right. It's going to be great, guys. It's going to be great. I'm going to go ahead and finish mine, and I'll be right back. We're separated. We got this trash, and we got our actual image. This little flimsy little thing right here. This is our image. All right, so we're going to go ahead. This is cool, right? We're going to go ahead and press it on. Let's go over here. All right, now we're at our heat press. We're going to go ahead and put this on a lady's female shirt. Um, we're going to go ahead and lay the shirt on the press nicely. And we're going to go ahead and press it real fast to get all the wrinkles out. One press real quick. Get the wrinkles out. Move this stuff out the way. That should be sufficient. And... Now we're going to start laying this down nice and carefully, guys. All right. See how flimsy this thing is, right? You got to do it really, really carefully because this is a one-shot type of deal. Very, very difficult to uh, press this on, guys, because you got to lay it flat. And that's going to be the hard part. And what we can do is we can utilize our heat tape. Lay this part down. Man, I'll tell you what, this is harder than I thought it was. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We're like laying down a thin little piece of very, very hard to work with stuff right here. Very, very hard to work with. I don't even want to do the heat tape way because it's going to take forever to do that. I just want to lay it down like so, very, very carefully. I'm trying to flatten it out. Look at it. Flatten it out while I'm doing this, guys. Hard for me to explain what I'm doing, but I'm coming underneath. I'm flattening out the design, and this is kind of transparent so you can see through it. I'm sliding it up, I'm flattening it out right here. This part is flattened out, I'm coming over here. All right, what I would suggest that you guys do at this point is shine a light on it to make sure it's flat, but mine looks to be totally flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and press it down. This presses down for 30 seconds. So let me hit it one time. So this is the main difference between using the other type of transfer, because it transfers on with light colors, but this is dark colors. And you carefully peel it off. Up, oh, stuck on there. This is supposed to be a cold peel, guys. Supposed to be a cold peel. So I jumped the gun right there. Let me press it again. Real fast. Press it again. Bring it up. Bring it over here before I separate it. I'm gonna let it cool off for a little while till it's cool to the touch and then I'm gonna peel it off. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Right on there. Pretty sick. Take off my bandage here. I like this. It went straight on. I like this, guys. It's different, different texture, different type of press. You know, something different. 
Something different's always good. What do you guys think? Discovered something new. New way of making shirts. Nice and stretchy. Very, very dope. I love it. I like it. It's, it's like, it's different. I like it a lot. This is very, very dope. I like it. Look at this. Look at this. Quality. N different type of shirt, guys. Different type of shirt alert. All right, guys. So the verdict is in. The verdict is in. And I have to be 100% honest with you guys. This really turned out to be a whole lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I mean, you can sell this in a store. Um, I, I can't, I can't, I don't know if the camera's doing it any justice, but um, yeah, this is like next level. Um, I understand why the dark, the dark um, ink is better to use than the light, the light transfer paper. From now on, I'm not even going to buy the light transfer paper because peeling the image off using the light transfer paper, heat stress transfer paper just doesn't make sense when you can get a quality product that this, that, that, that's this good. So from now on, I'm just gonna buy the dark and use it on the light because, I mean, look. Look at this. It's crazy. This is bananas. So um, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to use my Amazon links anytime you purchase anything on Amazon. I'm sorry that this video was so long um, and I, I, I ran into some a few hiccups and stuff like that, but wasn't it worth it? I mean, look at this thing. It's just crazy. So yeah, guys, um, don't forget to visit alanaway.com, buy some channel merch, help support the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Use my Amazon links down below. Visit facebook.com backslash kingadub and facebook.com backslash Productions and use this video. Uh, Watch it over again and know the settings so you guys can make all types of cool stuff for your kids, for your friends, for your family. Sorry I made it so long, but you guys see the quality that you can get out of this. You guys know exactly what to do because I laid it all out. It's your boy, man. A-Dub, King Alan Alexander. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at A-Dub Productions, Alan Wade. Peace. I'm out. Turn up that, crank it up. I listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby. Straight to the